To make sure we understand this idea, that velocity is proportional to time, let's look at one example. So let's imagine that we drop a ball. Well, the instant we drop the ball, t equals zero, the ball's speed is zero meters per second. If I wanted to represent this with a picture, I would just draw, well, a stationary ball. If my acceleration is 10 meters per second per second, which we can also say 10 meters per second squared, well then after one second, I will have gained 10 meters per second, and I can represent this velocity with a downwards arrow. And the length of this arrow somehow represents the size or magnitude of this velocity. After another second, the speed's increased to 20, and now my arrow is twice as long. I want you to tell me two things about what happens after three seconds. First, the speed, and second, where should I put the end of this arrow, which represents that speed? Should I put it here, 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 or here? 